An Alphabet of Celebrities by Oliver Herford A. S. A. L. B. E. R. T. Edward. Well-meaning but flighty. Who invited King A. R. T. H. U. R. The blameless and mighty. To meet A. Elcibiades and Aphrodite. B is for B. Earnhardt. Who fails to awaken much feeling in B. I. Smark. B. Arabas, and B. Akan. C is C. Olumbus. Who tries to explain how to balance an egg. To the utter disdain of C. on Fusius, C. Arlyle, C. Leopatra, and C. Ain. D. S. for D. Iogenes, D. Arwen, and D. Ante, who delight in the dance of a D. Arling Bachant. E. is for E. Disson, making believe he's invented a clever contrivance for E. Vey, who complained that she never could laugh in her sleeve. F. is for F. Franklin, who fearfully shocks the feelings of F. Enelin, F. Aber, and F. Ox. G is G. Odiva, whose great bareback feat she kindly but firmly declines to repeat. Though G. Uno and G. Oldsmith implore and entreat. H is for H. Andal, who pours out his soul through the bagpipes to H. Oles and H. Omer, who roll on the floor in an ecstasy past all control. I is for I. B. S. N., reciting a play while I. R. V. ing and I. Grizal hasten away. J is for J. Onsen, who only says, Pish. To J. Ona, who tells him his tale of a fish. K is the K. Icer who kindly repeats some original verses to K. Ipling and K. Eats. L is Ella Fontaine, who finds he's unable to interest L. Uther and L. I. S. Z. T. in his fable, while L. Oi continues to dance on the table. M is M. A. C. Duff, who's prevailed upon M. Ilton and M. Ontane and M. Anon to each try a kilt on. N is N. Napoleon, shrouded in gloom, with N. Arrow, N. Arcesis, and N. Ordo to whom he's explaining the manual of arms with a broom. O is for Oliver, casting aspersion on Omar, that awfully dissolute Persian, though secretly longing to join the diversion. P is for Pieter, who hollers, no. No, through the keyhole to P. Anya, P. Adaruski, and P. O. Q is the Q. Uin, so noble and free. For further particulars look under V. R. S. R. Eubenstein playing that old thing in F to R. Olo and R. Embrant. Who wish they were deaf. S is for S. Winburn, who, seeking the true, the good, and the beautiful, visits the zoo, where he chances on S. Afo and Mr. S. Ardu, and S. Ocrates, all with the same end in view. T is for T. Aliran toasting Miss T. Ruth, by the side of her well, in a glass of vermouth, and presenting Mark T. Wayne as the friend of his youth. U is for U. N. Dine, pursuing Ulysses and U. Emberto, who flee her damp, death-dealing kisses. V is V. Victoria, noble and true. For further particulars look under Q. W. S. W. Agner, who sang and played lots for W. Ashington, W. Esley, and good Dr. W. Atts. His prurient plots pained W. Esley and W. Atts, but W. Ashington said he enjoyed them in spots. X is X Antip, who's having her say, and frightening the army of Xerxes away. Y is for Y Ong, the great Mormon saint, who thinks little Y Um Y Um and Y Vet so quaint, he has to be instantly held in restraint. Z is for Ziola, presenting Latera to Z Anobia the brave and Z Uleka the fair, whose blushes they artfully conceal with their hair.